Well, it doesn't look like fracking is going to be coming to New York anytime soon. Chesapeake Energy has all but given up on drilling in the Empire State. They just walked away from a two-year legal fight. Hollywood, of course, is partly to blame for all this. Why are all these Hollywood lefties with their socialist movies ignoring the facts by opposing fracking? Fracking would create a huge volume of jobs, new jobs, good-paying middle-class jobs in New York and California and elsewhere. And studies show it is not an environmental hazard. But let me ask you what you think about this. We just had another study from the Department of Energy saying fracking is clean. Fracking does not cause water problems. And New York is hidebound. Cuomo, Governor Cuomo, who's done some good things, but not this. He's afraid to buck Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He's afraid to buck Yoko Ono. He's afraid to, to help upstate New York, which has been in a depression in 50 years. Why? Well, here's the thing. The truth is, as you pointed out, in Hollywood, their voices speak loud and money speaks loud, too, whether it's coming from Image Nation, as you mentioned, in the Promised Land film or not. Uh, I think there's a lot, from my perspective, of controversy, a lot of speculation around fracking still. However, I think there's a lot of misinformation that's being put out there. For example, you know, the, these earthquakes and the tremors, some people are perhaps putting them out of proportion, saying that they're a lot worse than they actually are. In fact, in real life, it's just like drilling. Uh, but also, I think that you have issues around uh, people who are trying to influence the way that America relies either on oil or gas. But natural abroad. gas is clean. But here's the thing. It's yeah. the solution. It's clean. It'll it make us energy independent. But doesn't it depend yeah. geographically on where you do it? I mean, for example, in Qatar and in the United Arab Emirates, yeah. they have different technologies. And perhaps I could see how they don't want America to advance their well, innovative technologies in order to be more independent. That's, that's their problem. That should not be our <laughs> well, problem. Well, you know, it's the richest that's country in the world for a that, reason. That should not be Matt Damon's here's problem. Here's the amazing thing, right? The, the environmentalist left says they're the party of science and that the free marketeers are anti-science and it's so remarkably hypocritical in this particular case because there is no scientific evidence that fracking does anything to pollute the water that's supply. That's a thing. That's but, a thing. Study after study. And yet they're claiming that it does study. and they're, they're misrepresenting the scientific yeah. data. Even you, the EPA do, do says think, there's no evidence. Do you think Yoko Ono reads studies? <laughs> do you think she I don't know what does she read the newspaper? What does she do? <laughs> well, huh? here's the, I don't know. I mean, here's I, the opportunity know. though, what, gentlemen. What, yeah. The opportunity is that somebody within the industry, within the petroleum uh, industry, the natural gas industry, ought to get with the program and start engaging in culture. You know, culture influences politics more than politics influences politics. Didn't Promised Land bomb also? It did bomb. It only grossed half of the money that Abu Dhabi put into it. What a pity. What a pity. <laughs> but a lot Abu of people Dhabi. still saw it. I mean, that's the thing when you put well, a lead character yeah. in it. You right. know what happens. I mean, yeah. that's the point, right? A theatrical production, even a bomb, almost a million people saw it. You compare it to the two documentaries out there, Frack Nation, which looks at, at how the uh, journalistic community has completely misrepresented fracking. And on the other hand, Gasland, which is the environmental left documentary, those films... Uh, brought in uh, so far a fraction of the yeah, irony. I got to get out of here. Chuck DeVore, thank, thank you very you. much for laying that out. I tell you, I did not know Chesapeake Energy gave all that money to the Sierra Club. I think that's hilarious. Matt Damon, go back to Bourne.